As a lawyer who practices criminal defense and personal injury, a lot of people ask me about extortion law, or what we commonly call blackmail. I get questions from people who are charged with extortion as a crime, and I get questions from people who are victims of extortion and want to sue the perpetrator. Here in California, the law recognizes both criminal and civil extortion. So extortion is actually a crime under Penal Code Section 518, and people can go to jail for it, but it's also a tort under civil law where the victim can sue for money damages. Today, I want to talk about civil extortion. In order to sue somebody successfully for civil extortion, you have to show three things. One, the person threatened to do something harmful to you. This could be to reveal embarrassing information about you or even to report you for legitimate misconduct. Two, the person demanded money or something of value or else he would carry out the threat. And three, you actually gave the person money or something of value. You gave in to the threat. Now, a threat to bring legal action against you or to report you for misconduct is often not extortion as long as a person was acting in good faith. So, for example, let's say that you live in an apartment complex where you are not allowed to have dogs. Your neighbor knows that you secretly have a dog living in your unit. He tells you, either you get rid of that dog or I will report you to the landlord. That's probably not extortion. But if he tells you, either you pay me $100 or I will report you to the landlord, then that would be extortion. Even though the neighbor has every legal right to report you to the landlord, the demand for money is not a good faith attempt to resolve the issue. People ask me if I sue somebody for civil extortion, for blackmail, what kind of money damages could I potentially get? The answer is, first, you could get a return of the extortion money that you paid. So if you paid the blackmailer $10,000, you could potentially get your $10,000 back. You could also potentially get punitive damages, and those could be significant. But keep in mind, these are difficult judgments to obtain and to enforce. Often the extortion itself is your word against the other person's. And even if you win your lawsuit and get awarded money damages, the person may have no assets, and it may be difficult or impossible to actually collect your money. We hope this video was helpful in explaining the law of civil extortion, and we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about the law and how to protect your rights.